So she said to me, Craig, can you give me what I want? I don't know about you, but I feel so good. Girl, I can make you feel real. What is up? I am Crypto Mason. In this video, I will be covering the Flare Network and the Flare Network's native token, Spark. I'm going to be showing you everything I know right now about Flare. Um, I am still doing research every single day. I'm researching Flare because this is an absolute monster. Flare is an absolute monster and I am here for it and I'm going to tell you why it's an absolute monster um, in this video. So by the end of this, you're going to know what Flare is, what Spark is, and you're even going to know a little bit about Flare Finance, which is, oh my, it's a beast. It's a beast. Flare Finance is a beast. I'm going to talk about that in here. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you exactly what Flare is, how it works, um, what it's aiming to do, which is um, compete with Ethereum, essentially compete with Ethereum. I'm going to tell you why it's connected to Dogecoin, tell you why it's connected to Litecoin, and I'm going to tell you why my opinions on those two are kind of shifting now. Because I used to say I hate Litecoin, and I do still don't, I don't like Litecoin, but it's connected to Flare, and it's interesting that they pick that. Um, but that is what's going to be in this video, so if you stay till the end of it, you will know all of that. So, welcome to Flare. This is Flare, this is the beautiful logo, mixing red and blue. We're going from red to blue, like I've always said. Um, if you check out my video called the ocean of cryptocurrency i don't know if it's out yet when you're seeing this but check out my video the ocean of cryptocurrency or the deep ocean of cryptocurrency and you will understand why i like the color blue in crypto that sounds very weird if you're just new here but we take a spiritual perspective on all of crypto um, but this is the logo now if you go to coin market cap it's not on there it says market data is untracked and you see spark and you see the ticker is flr so it is not out yet officially at the time of this video february 27 but um it will be coming out very soon in um this summer kind of or no april i think i think it's april but <clears throat> many of you might have participated in the xrp spark airdrop um what this was is if you held xrp on any of the supported exchanges or wallets you would receive one flare token per xrp so if you had a thousand xrp you would receive a thousand flare um when this airdrop happens it has not happened yet so if you're looking for your flare token <clears throat> it has not happened yet but it will be dropped into your wallet now one thing about that that i want to cover which is kind of scary is that crypto airdrops are actually taxed as ordinary income so they are not taxed as capital gains or anything they're taxed as ordinary income so right now the flare token is about one dollar and thirty cents and I'm gonna get into why why we have a price for it and how I know the price but if you if you had your life savings in XRP and then you got airdropped the same amount in flare you're going to have to pay that as ordinary income. But you do not have to worry about that yet. Just play it by the day um, and use crypto tax softwares. Um, just Google some. <clears throat> but this is the Flare network. So you will receive your Flare in an airdrop um, sometime in the future. You will, you will be, you will know when you, when you receive it. But for me, I did not participate in the airdrop. Instead, I chose to purchase Flare on my own with my own money um, so that it is not taxed as ordinary income. Um, that is why the Flare airdrop was was kind of a, a chess move, a chess move a little bit. <clears throat> but this is Flare Network. We're going to start on their website and then we're going to get into this document right here that I've wrote up and I've took some some different things from my research. I've took some notes. Um, we're going to go over a few website websites and then we're going to hop into this which is flare finance and it is amazing so this is the flare we're going to start on the website it says unlocking value unlocking value from nostro vostro accounts i don't know 
Uh, so 75%, around 75% of the value of blockchain tokens is inaccessible to decentralized applications. That changes now, starting with XRP. Do you see that? Starting with XRP. Introducing Flare. This is the world's first Turing complete FBA network. I'm going to cover what FBA is. That is Federated Byzantine Agreement, um, which is right in here. But before we uh, hop into that, let's read what this says. In a nutshell, what does Flare offer? Flare offers smart contracts, scalable for transactions per second and value. Um, and if you don't know what a smart contract is, it is an agreement between two people in the form of computer code. Uh, by the way, I'm using some of this information from uh, Flare Community, the Flare Community channel. I will link him in the description. Great channel if you want to learn about Flare. Smart contract is an agreement between two people in the form of computer code. It's run on the blockchain and it's stored on a public database so that you cannot change it. So everybody can see what's happening so you cannot change it. That's what the blockchain is all about. Um, I, wanna, I want to see where my tax money is going. So it can be listed on a public ledger. So when I pay my millions of dollars in taxes that I will pay in the future, we can see exactly where that money's going because it's on the blockchain. <clears throat> and there's no lying. The blockchain is math. Um, so transactions can happen instantly because it's on the blockchain. There's no middleman. Um, but this is the world's first Turing complete FBA network. It is scalable. Unlike Ethereum right now, it's scalable and does not <clears throat> and does not base safety on a native token. Ethereum, they base safety on the native token. There's no risk. The native token, by the way, is Spark. So Flare's native token, token is Spark, and Ethereum's native token is Ethereum. Um, it integrates Ethereum virtual machine, so it's actually using the Ethereum virtual machine on the back end. This doesn't mean that if Ethereum fails, Flare fails. They don't rely on each other like that. Um, this just means they're using the, the virtual machine that Ethereum built. It has low transaction costs. Compared to Ethereum, it has low, <clears throat> very low transaction costs. The Spark, uh, the Flare's native token is collateral for the trustless issuance of assets from non-Turing complete chains starting with XRP. It contributes to the Flare Time Series Oracle, this is FTSO, and network governance. Spark ownership secures, improves, and guides the network. So it was created by a utility fork of XRP. So this is a fork of XRP. Um, no ICO. So these are the F assets. They already have F XRP, F Doge, F Litecoin, and F Stellar XLM. They already have those um, those um, F assets. So I'm going to cover that in a second. I'm going to cover that in a second. So that is the website. It's very simple and very uh, beautiful, actually. So in short, to summarize what Flare does, it is a scalable smart contract platform that uses the Ethereum virtual machine. Um, smart contracts are written in the same language as is used on Ethereum. Any smart contract that runs on Ethereum can run on Flare. By the way, this is from a blog post on Flare's page, on their blog. So Flare's consensus protocol does not require value to secure the network. To summarize why this is useful, deriving security from value, which is proof of stake. Ethereum is proof of stake whereas Flare is Federated Byzantine Agreement, and I'm going to cover that in a second. Um, deriving security from proof of stake means that the value locked on the network 
must scale as the value expressed or built on the network increases. This makes such a network economically inefficient and prevents and presents a new barrier to mass adoption. So Flare does not suffer from that. Flare does not suffer from that. And this is the Federated Byzantine Agreement right here. Um, just in short, you can read it. The Ripple blockchain pioneered the Federated Byzantine Agreement. Ripple blockchain did it. The Stellar blockchain refined this approach even further, adopting the first provably safe FBA protocol. So in FBA systems, each node does not have to be known and verified ahead of time. Membership is open and control is decentralized. Nodes can choose whom they trust. So, okay, let's move on to, um, so the F assets, it, it brings, what Flare does is it brings smart contracts to XRP, Litecoin, and potentially any blockchain asset genuinely trustlessly isn't that insane that's insanity to me flare can bring smart contracts to any blockchain asset including xrp so the f asset protocol allows any token from any chain to be trustlessly represented on Flare without making any modifications to the chain. This is insanity to me. Um, I don't know why more people aren't talking about this, but here I wrote, no Flare has been airdropped yet from the December 12 snapshot. You can buy Star Spark tokens on these exchanges. Okay, we'll get into that right now, I believe. Um, here I'll show you that Flare is integrating Doge as an F Doge asset. And I'm going to show you more on that in a second. So there is F Doge and there's F LTC right now. And there's F XRP and there's F XLM. So when you put the F in front of it, that means it's an it's a Flare asset, an F asset. Let's make the direct comparison between Ethereum and Flare. Just a, a little bit more on that because I need you to understand how this may actually, this may be the Ethereum killer versus Cardano. Um, this may be the one that they don't want you to know about or hear about right now because this is coming out very soon um, and it might take the world by storm, this one. And I'm going to show you why. Or you should already be seeing why, but I'm going to show you more. So, we learned that Ethereum is proof of stake, where whereas Flare is Federated Byzantine Agreement, agreement the world's first ever, the world's first Federated Byzantine Agreement. Um, so the advantage that Ethereum has over Flare is the the this is the only advantage is they have the first mover advantage. They were the first ones to do this, Ethereum. Ethereum was the first to build a, a, a network like this. And Ethereum owns like so many of the, well, they don't own, but many of the top like 500 coins are built on Ethereum, a lot of them. So they were the first mover, but Flare's advantages are it's extremely fast, faster than ETH, it's cheaper than ETH, and it's currently more, more scalable than ETH. Now, ETH 2.0 is still in the works. It's still coming together. So that, that will make ETH uh, more scalable. By the way, I'm a big proponent, proponent of both of these. I love both of these. And I actually believe that they will coexist. They will coexist. Um, Flare won't kill Ethereum, meaning like Ethereum won't go to zero because of Flare. No they will coexist but flare could be a monster like ethereum um <clears throat> so the like where would you store your ethereum this is the ethereum wallet if you have an ethereum wallet you can hold ethereum and any other eth token meaning any other ethereum token built on ethereum um for example self key 
one of the coins I, I like a lot, self key is built on Ethereum, meaning you can, like it's an ERC20 token. Those are called ERC20 tokens. They can be held in the same wallet as ETH, like on the same address because they're ERC20 tokens. So with Flare, it's the same. Flare is like, like the FLR is like ETH. It's the native token. And any Flare tokens can be held on that Flare address. And I'm gonna show you some of the Flare tokens that are currently in the beta. Because we are currently in the beta of Flare Finance. Um, it's crazy, it's so crazy. I'm not gonna go deep on that today, but I will show you it. Um, and I highly recommend going to Flare Community Channel, which will be in the, in the description, and trying to set up the beta. Now it's very, very advanced if you're new. Um, it's very advanced for a beginner, but if you have some hours, like a lot of hours, or you just wanna grind hard and stay up late and get this sorted out, you can learn it. And that is what I've done. Um, so I'm gonna show you that. But if you get 51% or more of the Ethereum in existence, you control the entire network. That's a that's a fault right there. But Spark is not required to, to secure the network, <clears throat> which is very interesting. So the last thing in this Word document is if you have heard of wrapped Bitcoin, this is wrapped Bitcoin right here. This is wrapped Bitcoin. So what this is, is somebody made a Bitcoin that's minted, minted on the ETH network and it's backed one to one with Bitcoin. Um, as you can see, this is this is backed one to one with the Bitcoin price. This unlocks use cases for Bitcoin because now it, it's, it has access to, to Ethereum smart contracts <clears throat> because it's, it's, a, it's a Bitcoin minted on the Ethereum network. So one problem with that is when you create wrapped Bitcoin, you rely on the middleman or third party to give you the asset. Meaning somebody had to make this and back it. They had to back it one-to-one -one with Bitcoin. Um, so Flare allows trustless minting of assets without the middleman. Um, and, and the native token Spark is required for collateral for mining assets. So that covers this Word document. Um, now you should know what Flare kind of is and what it does. So now we are going to get into how do you get some flare if you didn't claim the airdrop? Now, if you remember claiming the airdrop or you remember having your XRP in a supported exchange, you can look up the list of, of flare airdrop supported exchanges. If you did not do that, like I didn't, um, well, maybe, maybe they got me where like, Maybe I was storing my XRP in one of the supported exchanges, but I don't know. So if you just want to buy Flare, if you want to buy some Flare token, um, you can go and get an account on Bitru. And there will be a link in the description to sign up for Bitru. So you, this, you need to get verified, which is the bad part. Um, you do need to get your ID verified on here to be able to buy Flare token. Also, I believe if you are in the United States, you're not allowed to trade it. Hold on. Okay, there's a there's a thumbnail for you. Hold up. Put that there instead. Let me just check if you are allowed to trade it in the States. I don't think you actually are. But here is the flare. This is the flare token. Um, it's currently trading at $1 and 34 cents right now. See, it's only been on here for since, where is this, one day? 
let me see 2021 so that is january 6 it came onto bitroot um but now it is trading at one dollar 35 so this is like triple xrp price right here flare is already triple xrp price um oh actually no it's not trading at that i'm measuring this in oh my i'm stupid i'm stupid it's actually cheaper it's trading at 58 cents 58 cents usdt wow i've been thinking it's one dollar this whole time wow um, but that's still above xrp as you can see <clears throat> so the only two exchanges you can buy this on right now are bitru and poloniex this is poloniex i actually did not have to do verification on poloniex to buy flare but let me explain you are you're not actually buying flare on here you're buying an iou where did i write notes on this hold on did i write notes on that you're buying an iou um which means when flare token is out the the bitru they owe you flare it's like an iou so you're buying a contract basically that when you when you buy the flare on here um basically it's going to just it secures your amount of of flare but one key difference key difference on bitru you're buying full flares you're buying a, an entire flare one flare token whereas on here on poloniex you're buying 15 percent of one flare token hence the price being at 12 cents right here so it gets very confusing but i would recommend everybody go get a bitru account as fast as possible and go get verified so you go to the link in the description you can sign up for bitru or go to poloniex.com you can sign up here um so that is how you buy flare just like a normal market market buy right here and one thing i want to point out is they have xrp trading pairs look at this doesn't this look like a bitcoin replacement to me it looks pretty pretty sexy to me right here having having um xrp trading pairs like you can trade ada directly for xrp see this is ada trading with xrp litecoin as well they have lots dash iota and xrp looks really nice really nice i love that do they have xdc yep they have xdc as well so that is how you currently buy flare if you don't want to wait for your airdrop so here is some more info right here about the flare airdrop um if you don't if you miss this or something the snapshot for the airdrop took place on december 12. anyone who is holding xrp at that time is eligible to, to receive the airdrop the first distribution will happen when the flare mainnet goes live that has not gone live yet sometime in q1 or q2 of 2021 so we're we're sitting in q1 right now um initially just 15 percent of the tokens will be distributed the remaining 85 percent will distrib be distributed over the next couple of years presumably this is done to reduce selling pressure yes it is but you know what else it's done for in my opinion just my opinion i think because we just saw that crypto airdrops are taxed at ordinary income level so the boys at ripple and the boys at flare they know that their token just my opinion do not base this is not financial advice blah 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 they know that their token is going to be worth a lot of money therefore they only drop 15 percent of it to their people so that those people only get taxed for a small amount of the flare that they got does it make sense if they dropped a hundred percent of the tokens now also this does reduce selling pressure yes because 
just imagine something like this happens. Say, theoretically, I hold a thousand XRP. So you have a thousand XRP and you do the airdrop and you get a thousand flare. Um, you are going to, some people are going to immediately want to sell that and get money, just free money. So if they dropped all the flare on everybody at the same time, everyone would just, or most people would just sell their flare and cash out for free money because they still think fiat money is worth something for some reason. Um, so it does reduce selling pressure if they drop it over a huge amount of time. But also I think they're being really nice to you guys <clears throat> who claim the airdrop because I think it's going to be a monster. And if they give you just 15% of your tokens instead of 100% of them all at once, you're only going to pay you're going to pay smaller tax. Mm, but I am not qualified to talk about tax, so don't listen to me. Just do your own research. Um, and you'll be fine. So this says the flare main net, which is to be, to be released in the second quarter of 2021, will aim to deliver Ethereum like smart contract functionality to other assets. It's a genius idea. It's genius. It's genius. Bringing smart contracts to any blockchain asset ever. One of the final things I want to show here is flare farm. This is flare finance. So if we go to the flare finance website, Flare Finance website right here. This is DeFi on steroids right here, in my opinion, DeFi on steroids. Um, this is decentralized finance harnessing the limits, the limitless potential of the Flare network. Now the story about this is it is made by six developers or something and they're staying anonymous. The Flare Finance. Flare Finance is, they say they're not connected to Flare Network, but they do receive oversight from the Flare Network. So this is like an independent thing, but it is truly crazy. And I highly recommend, this is very advanced by the way, very advanced stuff um, for a beginner. But this is what it looks like. Um, and they have different tokens like right here. You've got Y fin X USD F XRP F LTC and F doge like we talked about, right? So this is like liquidity pools and you can actually earn passive income through this. This is in beta So this is the test net still, but they're launching the main net very soon So as you can see I have three flare in my in my thing um, and this is I'm sorry, but it is very advanced. It's hard to get to this point. You have to do a lot with MetaMask. You have to learn MetaMask. Um, you have to learn how to add new networks, new tokens, um, how to use faucets. It's very advanced, but I will leave some resources, links in the description for you to learn about this and you can join their Discord server and you can learn more. But this is gonna allow passive income essentially and extreme liquidity pools it's just so crazy you can swap assets um they've got y fin it, it's crazy so definitely look into this i just wanted to put this in here to um let you guys know they're building six products um flare farm what are the other ones hold on let me get the picture up let me get the picture up and i'll tell you which what they're building here they're they're building <clears throat> see i have a thing right here i have a graph with all of it so th they have flare x flare wrap flare farm flare mine flare loans and flare mutual and that is that contains flare finance so just a brief overview this is all i'm gonna do on this topic more will come on this topic though Flare X is Flare's decentralized exchange like Uniswap. That's what Flare X is. Flare Wrap allows you to bring ERC20 tokens, 
Ethereum tokens onto the Flare network. That's what Flare Wrap does. Flare Farm allows you to stake to earn YFIN and more project tokens. So those those are tokens created by <clears throat> by Flare Finance. So hold on, Flare Mine um lets you mine flare through mining bitcoin and ethereum with no extra power requirements that is crazy that is so crazy flare loans are decentralized loans they provide currencies for people to receive loans that's so crazy i'm still learning about this because look at this you guys want to see what this is let me clean my screen look at this this is Hold up, let me get, look at that. This thing goes all the way, hold up. All the way up, like it's a whole network thing. So I'm still learning, but when I read these, I'm just like, this is a monster. Flare Loans is decentralized loans, provides currencies for people to receive loans or receive loans by providing collateral. And finally, Flare Mutual is decentralized insurance. You pool your assets to give people coverage over smart contracts, over smart contract failures, bugs, hacks, or receive coverage for smart contract failure. Okay, that's crazy. And these are the tokens they have. I'm going to show this, and that's the last thing. They have... Man, you gotta focus. Yield fin. Okay, you can see it there. Yield fin is the first one. You've got yield flare, flare USD, and yield mind. But that is all I'm yield mine. That is all I'm gonna cover on that, the flare finance, but there will be more coming in the future. So that is the video on flare network and spark token. Now I will 100 percent be covering more about this in the future so much more about this um because this is all interweaved with ripple it's interweaved with it's a it's a fork of xrp so i will be covering this more um if there's any other questions you can message me on instagram if you have questions about it um and maybe i'll make another video if you guys need some more help um also getting into more of the flare finance stuff as that gets launched I will definitely be making videos on that. But thank you so much for watching. You probably know if you made it this far, you're now an expert on Flare, basically. No, but you know a lot about Flare now and you skipped hours of research. But thank you so much for watching and goodbye. So she said to me, quick, can you give me what I want? I don't know about you, but I feel so good. Try to make you feel real. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to do that.